Also tonight, some San Francisco supervisors want to get rid of Juvenile Hall. They say they spend $13 million a year on it, and they say that it's consistently up to 75% empty. A 150-bed facility usually only holds about three dozen or so young inmates. Night Beach Joe Vasquez is live with a plan to possibly shut it all down. Joe? Yeah, Ken, this is the Youth Guidance Center, also known as Juvenile Hall, and it could soon be history. We need something that's going to change mindsets, something that's going to rehabilitate. Supervisor Shaman Walton's proposed ordinance would close Juvenile Hall by the end of 2021. That's less than three years from now. He says offenders who commit more serious crimes will still be locked up, just not in this facility. We are spending a crazy amount of money on an ineffective system. Supervisor Hillary Ronan is a co-author of the legislation, which calls for a 12-member working group to come up with alternatives to incarceration. This is just really irresponsible to begin a conversation or to try and get people to commit to shutting it down or keeping it open. Mayor London Breed announced today she has put together a 30-member blue ribbon panel to comprehend study the juvenile justice system. She agrees it needs to be fixed, but is not in favor of shutting down juvenile hall without a plan. To talk about it in such a way, either black or white, either you shut down or you keep it open, is just really irresponsible for, to the kids that we're trying to serve. We're giving two and a half years for an alternative. I think that's more than enough time, enough talk. It's time for some action. Supervisor Walton was in and out of Juvie Hall when he was young. He says it was mentoring programs that guided him to success, not incarceration. Having your shoes sit outside your room, sleeping on a mat that's on a slab coming out the wall, you tell me how that's going to help you be successful. You the conventional wisdom is that it would be a deterrent, right? That you wouldn't want to be in that environment. It just conditions you to learn how to survive when you're a resilient person versus give you the things that you need to help you change. The legislation to shut down Juvenile Hall right now has six votes. It needs eight to be veto-proof. Reporting live on the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez.